beautiful, friendly, swan. Hello and welcome to Z. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Swan. Swans are members of the Ananidae family and the genus Cygnus. Geese and ducks are the closest cousins of swans. Swans are classified with geese in the subfamily Antirrhini, where they constitute the tribe Cygnini. They are sometimes considered a separate subfamily, Cygnini. There are six surviving and several extinct swan species, as well as the Cascaroba swan, which is no longer considered one of the true swans. Swans typically mate for life, though divorce does occur occasionally, particularly after nesting failure, and if a mate dies, the remaining swan will mate with another. Each clutch contains between three and eight eggs. Swan Principles The male swan is known as the cob. He normally weighs more and appears slightly larger than the female, the pen, though it is often impossible to distinguish between the two. The female swan will incubate the eggs, and both parents will care after the young once they hatch. Cygnets are the year's young swans, pronounced cygnets. Cygnets have gray feathers that stay on the head and neck for the first year. Trumpeter swan cygnets turn white after molting during their second summer. They become sub-adults at that moment, with white feathers like adults but not breeding age until they are three to six years old. Subadult swans frequently stick together until they are old enough to create their own pair connections. Behavior Swans graze both in the water and on land. They are virtually totally herbivorous, with the exception of a few aquatic creatures. Food is obtained in the water by appending or dabbling, and their diet consists of aquatic and submerged plant roots, tubers, stems, and leaves. Swans mate for life and often bond before reaching sexual maturity. Trumpeter swans, which can live up to 24 years and begin reproducing at the age of 4 to 7, create monogamous pair bonds as early as 20 months. Divorce, while uncommon, does occur. One study of mute swans found a 3% incidence for successful breeding pairs and a 9% rate for unsuccessful breeding pairs. Even in gregarious and migratory species like the tundra swan, which congregates in vast groups in the wintering grounds, pair ties are maintained all year. Swan nests are around a meter across and on the ground near water. In contrast to many other ducks and geese, the male assists with nest construction and will take turns incubating the eggs. Swans are the only anidids that will do this, along with whistling ducks. The mute swan's average egg size is 11,374 millimeters, weighing 340 g, with a clutch size of 4 to 7 and an incubation period of 34 to 45 days. Swan nests are fiercely guarded by the birds. They will attack anything, even humans, that they regard as a threat to their chicks. One individual was thought to have drowned as a result of such an incident. Swan's interspecific aggressive behavior is more common than interspecific hostile behavior for food and refuge. Buick swans are more aggressive toward other species. What foods do swans consume? Swans consume algae, fruits, grass, and occasionally insects. Swans are generally herbivorous birds, but they do consume insects, mollusks, and other sea animals. Swans spend time on land and in the water, and they find food in both. Swan Species List There are just seven swan species left on the planet. 
The Trumpeter Swan, Tundra Swan, Buick Swan, Cooper Swan, Black Swan, Black Necked Swan, and Silent Swan are among them. They share the subfamily Antirrhini within the family Anatidae with geese, while swans are separated from geese in the genus Cygnus. This is why young swans are often referred to as cygnets. Each swan species, regardless of continent of origin, is remarkably similar. They all have a huge body, bills designed for diving for plants and macroinvertebrate insects, long and elegant looking necks, stunning plumage, and a temperament that is generally described as, to put it mildly, cranky. With the exception of the Australian black swan and South America's black necked swan, most swans are found in the northern hemisphere due to their big, yet compact, build, and as such, most swans are found in the northern hemisphere. Reproduction Shallow ponds, undisturbed lakes, slow rivers, wetlands, and marshes are among the swans' favorite breeding sites. Due to their great size and weight, they also require extensive amounts of water or open ground for takeoff and landing. Swans lay their nests on mounds of aquatic vegetation along the water's edge. Because swans are monogamous and mate for life, a single pair will frequently use the same nest year after year, renovating it as needed. Both parents are usually involved in the construction of the nest and the carrying of the eggs. Female swans normally produce three to eight eggs, while certain species may lay as many as 12. The trumpeter swan, the largest species of swan, is thought to deposit the largest eggs of any flying bird, measuring 2.9 inches, 73 millimeters wide, 4.5 inches, 113.5 millimeters length, and 11.3 ounces, 320 g. The incubation period lasts 30 to 45 days, during which time the male and female take turns incubating the eggs in certain species, while the male stands guard while the female incubates in others. Although only certain swan species are territorial all year, during the breeding season, all species exhibit territorial behavior and will aggressively defend their nests from any animal that passes by. Seven Surprising Swan Facts 1. Herbivores are swans Swans feed mostly on aquatic plants found on the surfaces of lakes and river bottoms. The bird's long, S-shaped neck is ideally equipped to allow the bird to graze on the plants growing on the water bodies while it swims and pedals around. With its long neck, the swan dabbles in the water and flips itself upside down to reach the vegetation at the bottom of the surface. Swans may also forage on crops such as wheat and maize, as well as graze on grass and fields. Their diet, however, is not limited to plants. Small invertebrates such as mollusks, worms, and even fish and frogs provide food for clever birds. 2. Mute swans are life partners. A mute swan usually only has one mate in its lifetime. Pairs seldom break up generally only looking for a new companion if their mate dies. Find out more about the lovely bird courtship practices. 3. They are enormous. Trumpeter swans are North America's largest native waterfowl and the heaviest flying birds. Their wingspans can exceed 10 feet. 4. During mating season, they are quite territorial. Swans have a reputation for being aggressive and possessive, and there is no better time of year to see this than during breeding season. Swans, particularly mute swans, will hiss, flail their wings, and swim directly at perceived dangers to their nests. 5. They have their own star system. Cygnus, the Latin word for swan, is a prominent constellation that is also known as the Northern Cross. In Greek mythology, the constellation represents Orpheus, who after death was changed into a swan close to his lyre, in the constellation Lyra. Swans are social birds. Swans are a social and sociable species that adapts well to their surroundings. After spending the breeding season with only their mates, they become colonial for the rest of the year, congregating in huge numbers with other swans. 7. Mold can be poisonous to swans. 
in all goodwill, you should offer some bread to the swans paddling in the surrounding lake. If you're feeding swans, make sure to give them fresh bread. Bread contaminated with mold or fungus can be harmful to these species, causing more harm than good. Swans can also be fed wheat, corn, and fresh green vegetables like lettuce and spinach. This is all for now. Thank you for being with us.